Hi everyone, uh, my name is Oscar Pernefeld, and in 2015 I designed a flag proposal for planet Earth. And it looks like this. It's uh, what's called vexillogically correct. It's a hard word, but it means it's following different flag regulations, uh, meaning it's ready to use. And there's reasons why the flag is blue, and there's reasons why seven rings is forming a flower, but we'll not really dive too deeply into that today because we'll discuss something that I feel is a bit more important, which is the idea of the flag and what it represents. So what is this flag? Well, first of all, it's meant to represent the territory of planet Earth, much like the flag of Sweden represents the territory of Sweden, which has borders towards Norway, Denmark, and Finland. So in that case, it's defined by borders, but in this case, it's defined by an atmosphere. So there's not many feelings attached to that fact. It's almost like you could point towards the territory and say, oh, it's a flag of that planet, planet Earth. It's almost like a logo type in that way. But like any other flag, there's so much more to it. Like if you would have asked 100 Canadians what the flag of Canada means to them, in their opinion, you'd probably get 100 different answers. Some will say it's the country of Toronto Maple Leafs and uh, those red forest rangers. So I, some will say it represents uh, possibilities and liberties, but perhaps the indigenous community might disagree. And that's the case with all flags. It's a piece of cloth in different colors that brings out the most intense feelings within our core. And that's probably why I love them. So in the case of the international flag of planet Earth, some will say it's the ultimate sign of international collaboration. For example, when it comes to space exploration, uh, some will say it's something finally to belong to when other flags lack the ability to offer that feeling. Some will say it represents what we're trying to save. I see it as a constant reminder, a reminder that we share this planet and its challenges and also its possibilities. But keep in mind, this is a proposal. I did not proclaim by myself that this now is the flag of Earth. The only thing I could do is to propose it and then use my skills as a communicator to get it out in the world. And uh, I'm trying my absolute hardest. And uh, luckily, I'm not alone. Since 2020, the organization around the flag has grown and we're now six dedicated people with its sole mission to get the flag more recognized and utilized as the flag of Earth. But why do we need to do this? Well, since manned spaceflight has been a reality since the 60s, cosmonauts and astronauts have been reporting about a cognitive shift that they've experienced. And that shift has later been named overview effect which is basically a revelation while seeing Earth from afar. Suddenly they don't see national borders and it becomes very clear that the people back at Earth are in this together. But the sad thing though, not a lot of people get to experience that. And for me, I don't have any space flight scheduled anytime soon. And we need more people to experience that. And in a way, we want this flag proposal to achieve the same effect. We firmly believe that every time someone sees this flag, they get reminded, they get reminded of that we share this planet and that we should take care of it. So how would this flag actually become the flag of Earth? The easy answer is we use it. So let me do a little sidestep and tell you about the rainbow flag, also known as the pride flag. So this flag was first flown at a pride parade in the late seventies in San Francisco. And before the rainbow flag, a pink triangle had long been the symbol of the LGBT community, even though that that symbol dated back to when Nazis branded homosexual men in concentration camps. So the designer, Gilbert Baker, took upon himself to design a more inspiring symbol for people to rally around, thus the rainbow flag. And since then, uh, it has some revisions it went from eight stripes to seven stripes to six stripes that we see today, but it's basically the same flag. And it's grown from being a flag on a pride parade in the 70s to becoming to the somewhat official symbol of the LGBT community. 
How did this come to happen? Well, along the years, the flag have been adopted by institutions, companies, organizations, and most importantly, people around the world. And every time it's being used and shown, the position of being the official symbol only grows stronger. And in 2016, it even became an emoji, uh, being integrated in billions of cell phones around the world, thus becoming a vital part of people's way to communicate. And that sounds pretty official to me. And it's this journey the international flag of planet Earth has in front of itself. We need to make it a part of people's daily lives. And what do I mean by that? Well, we need to get it into people's periphery, almost like a product placement. So every time someone sees the flag, not only do they get the vital reminder, it also strengthens the position as being the official symbol of planet Earth, and thereby making more people wanting to use it and thereby strengthening the position. Someone's just designed a new international flag of the planet it Earth. finds new life. What flag will it plant on the face of planet Earth? This B? website shows the design in numerous applications, such as a patch the planet a Tierra ya cuenta con su propia bandera. The flag has been everywhere. It's been in music videos, in uh, video games, in drop-down menus, add-on on Facebook pictures, uh, countless amount of memes. But it's also been on climate strikes, uh, on rescuing boats in the Mediterranean. Uh, it's even been mentioned in the EU. But we need to reach more people. And in order to reach more people, we need your help. I know that a ton of brilliant people are in the audience today that work on different companies and organizations. And if you guys want to help the world to get a flag, I want you to ask yourself a question. Is there any way my company or organization could implement this flag? So just to give you an idea what that could look like, um, I'm going to be a bit forward and use my fellow speakers as examples. So. We have two guys from Lego here today. So imagine if Lego implemented the flag on their space collection, having it on all the little space shuttles, on the arms of the little Lego astronauts, sparking a sense of inclusivity and uh, global solidarity among kids. We have Chris Gale from eBay here today. Um, just imagine if eBay integrated the flag in their interface design for a symbol of international shipping, for example. We have Maria Malsaruni from Emirates Mars Mission. So imagine if the Emirates Mars Mission was the first national space program to uh, officially adopt the flag alongside their national flag, inspiring other space agencies to do the same. And now Hannah Harris, which is the head of design of the city of Helsinki, might be thinking, I wonder if Helsinki could be the first capital of the world to fly the flag on the next Earth Day in April next year. Well, yeah, Hannah, you could, and that's a great idea. We should definitely have a meeting about that. We need something to rally around in these times of climate crisis and lack of global solidarity. We need something to inspire us through these challenges. And guess what? You guys could help us make that happen. Let's give the world a flag. Thank you.